There's a lot of fun to be had in Teardown's destructible world, but while it's exciting to try and ace missions, it's also important to collect cash to upgrade your tools. There are a couple of safes to find in the campaign, but they're not as helpful as you might hope. Don't worry though, there's a mission later on where you can easily bag yourself thousands of dollars, and we're here to help you make it happen. Relatively early in the campaign, you'll take on the Making Space mission in West Point Marina. The objectives of this mission are quite straightforward, but they are a bit strange. In an attempt to destroy someone's proof of ownership of a small cabin, you need to destroy the cabin. You also need to take the officer's safe and dump it into the ocean. There's no known way to pry the safe open, so you might as well have some fun getting rid of it. To dispose of the safe, drag it by holding RMB until it plops into the water. It's a good idea to keep your sledgehammer handy in case there are any obstacles in your way. There's an optional challenge of dumping the warehouse safe into the sea too, so get creative as you find ways to drag it to the water's edge. The safes may not be quite what you're hoping for, but there's another mission where you can get your hands on some serious big bucks, and it only requires a quick detour on your part. If you've unlocked the Blue Tide Computers mission on Hollow Rock Island, and you're keen to add some pennies to your bank, let's go over how you can line your pockets with almost $3,000 let's cover where you can actually find the vault. After spawning, hop off your escape boat, walk forwards and head up the stairs. Follow the pavement to find a big brick building. Enter the building and take the doorway on your right. Then open the wooden door and go downstairs. Unfortunately, even the best tools won't make a scratch on the vault's steel door. The wall surrounding it is also reinforced, but if you do enough damage, you can sneak a peek at what awaits you on the other side. While we haven't found a way to open the vault door normally, there is a way to access its concealed room by another means. Those shiny gold bars aren't going to steal themselves, and you only need a few tools to help you find another route into the vault, so let's get to it. After spawning into the Blue Tide Computers mission, walk off your boat and immediately turn left. Walk along the edge of the water towards the grey rock ahead. Once in the rocky caves, turn right and promptly look up to see a metal grate nestled in the ceiling above. You can open it by hitting it with your sledgehammer to reveal a vertical air duct. Now it's time to hoist yourself up as it leads to the room behind the vault door. You can do this with as few as 8 wooden planks, but if you want some advice on tool upgrades, we recommend paying to increase your number of starting planks first it's always good to have a few more than you need. The easiest way to get started is to place a plank vertically from the ceiling opening to the floor. Then place another to create a small ramp, and add a couple of short horizontal planks to construct some makeshift steps. Continue placing these all the way up, and keep jumping on them until you reach the top of the air duct. After arriving at the top, walk along and use your blowtorch to melt the grate to gain access to the room. On the table, there's $400 with your name on it, and a stack of gold bullions worth $2,500 on the floor. That's a tidy sum to spend wisely once you're back at the base. That's all on safe and vaults and teardown for now. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out other guides on pcgamer.com for more helpful tips.